Something. I want to refer each of you to the front page of the Daily Nation, the big headline there, Raila backs Ruto on key proposal for referendum. And just allow our viewers to take in that headline. Uh, the text that comes after that states, both leaders want CSS to sit in parliament, but their views differ on whether or not the CSS should be elected as MPs. And just below that, we have a little picture of President Uru Kenyatta and Nyanza Tua today that he, together with opposition leader Raila Odinga, are set to launch development projects in Kisi today. Now, as we mentioned, every Wednesday here on Daybreak, we'll be looking at bulls and bears, the business in the news, the business with the politics, and that's what I want to start with at this time. Haman, I want to come to you and get a feeling from you. You look at what's happening in regards to the referendum talk. It's building pace, building steam. Something's coming in the future. Can our economy weather a referendum a census, a boundary review, and still focus on the big four. What's your the, gut feeling? The question you would have asked me is whether really we need to do those things that you have mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> In this, uh, this day and age, what are we talking about is spending 18 billion on, on census? What, is, what are we talking about? Don't we even know how many we are? Can't we even do, many, can't we even do it? We can't we even do it in a simple way today in the 21st century? A lot of those things actually are, even if they were to be done, not at the cost. Look at boundary review. What are we talking about? That's a simple thing that can take a couple of weeks, use some tens of millions, and not billions of shillings. But is there a need for the referendum? It's going to be there. Mm -hmm. yeah, whether there is need so or not, it's going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> the referendum will be there, yeah. uh, partly because of the politics of the land, but uh, also because the document we have has a problem in terms of content and in terms of architecture. So even from the time we were passing it, everybody agreed there were so many flaws. So the referendum will be there, uh, fueled much more by the 22 politics than anything else. Yeah. We'll Felix, politics. let me come to you. Let me get your thoughts as well. Can our economy weather all this? In your view, and as manufacturers, you are hoping for more investment in the manufacturing sector yeah. to grow it from, what, 8.5% to the target of 15%. Um, as a country, I think we're in a tight fiscal space currently. Um, so if you look at the ambitions of the Big Four agenda, they will require significant input in terms of resources to facilitate business to grow. So the reality of us being in a tight fiscal space is real. We've been talking about the challenge of circulation of money in the economy, and uh, this can only get tighter if we are uh, having a lot of revenue expenditures. On the other hand, the Constitution has been in place for the last eight years. In its implementation, we've seen some of the things that are working, some of the things that need to be improved. Uh, so there's need sometimes to take stock and see if that can be changed. So for business, for example, if you look at issues of the county fees and charges, we've been speaking about the Article 2095 uh, and the fact that the revenue-raising measures of county governments should not hinder inter-county trades. Mm -hmm. But despite all those conversations, we are still seeing that happening. So there's need maybe for more emphasis on that or simply uh, re-looking at how it's worded or how it can be implemented from the constitution. Issues of public participation have come up. Then the things that are coming up from, from the political angle. So it's important that we have discourse as a country and see what can be changed. But we must look at the realities of having money to run the economy, achieve the big four, and still carry out the referendum, the boundary reviews, and all these other things. Is so that balance a, possible? That balance has to be achieved. If it's going to be carried, that balance has to be achieved. So it, 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 it's doing things like what Prof has said, ensuring we do it at the least cost possible. If we are going to do, um, uh, say, the referendum, or to carry out the boundaries review, or to do this, the census, we do it at the least cost possible. The least cost possible. Yeah, yeah. so yes, that we achieve the balance. And, and give us your thoughts on that. Uh, can, can the nation multitask <laughs> in terms of its priorities do we have that capacity to handle all these big projects almost at the same time yeah i, I think i agree with my colleagues here is it going to be a very difficult balancing act but i think one we cannot avoid given the realities at the moment first we have a big four agenda it is very ambitious and it requires a lot of resources but the reality is also that uh, there seems to be consensus in the nation that some amendments need to be made within the constitution and if you ask me that requires to be linked to the boundary review because if there will be changes in the constitution that requires reduction of MPs or constituencies or, or, or even counties then, then it has to be linked to the constitutional review and, and finally we have also not far from now an election 
So it's going to be tough, but they are necessary to be undertaken. Yeah. And uh, there comes a time in every nation that some of these choices have to be made. Right. In my view, it is possible to be done, but at the least cost, there must be some a lot of balancing. There's something it's, she brought yes, up, yes. Right, and that is public participation. Do yeah. you feel it's there? Because maybe the Kenyans don't even think these are the issues they need addressed in that very constitution, whether the cabinet secretaries should sit in parliament or not, the positions. Maybe that is not what concerns Kenyans. Do you think there's enough public participation? I think public participation is necessary, uh, given that it's already a constitutional requirement. Uh, I think uh, I leave it to our leaders to see the best way possible. I think I was coming up not in my to All right, so you want to leave it at that? Yes, yes, a comment yes. from you on that, sir? Yeah, I mean, I think the Treasurer has already indicated they want to go through a phase of fiscal consolidation. So there are already questions around how do you do fiscal consolidation and the Big Four agenda in a context where private sector is having problems accessing credit. So I think even beyond the specific costing of all what this will all cost the economy. We're already in a situation where government is saying we want to ramp down on spending. Private sector is saying we don't have the credit backing and the sort of the fiscal space and tax incentives to really push the economy. So we have a broader question of who is going to drive the economy this year going forward. So that's a separate question. Then on top of this, we have these costs being heaped up. And I think the fundamental query from an economic point of view is are we spending it efficiently? How are these costed? Once Kenyans have an understanding of how these figures are come up with this, these billions, then maybe we would be a bit more comfortable around those billions being thrown around saying we need these billions. And I think this goes to the public participation and the fiscal transparency conversation that I've been trying to have for the past eight years, which is if you're going to bill us, tell us how you came up with that figure. It as is an not economist, you don't understand how some of those honestly, billions, as you, speak, as you call them, are on, being calculated? Honestly, on a whole, I really don't get a sense that the public is involved in having a transparent process saying this is how we cost it for example SGR this is how we cost it just generally mm -hmm. so when you have these extra costs that are not necessarily mm -hmm. necessary like the referendum yes from a political point of view they may be but economically can we afford them that's the other issue and then <coughs> the second issue I have with the problem with the way we're moving is that these are politically driven agendas these are not technocrats like PS mm -hmm. ask the technocrats <laughs> what the priorities are mm -hmm. and where the spending should go yeah. and you'll get a completely different list to what these politicians want different us to do wish list. so please let's focus on, on who's actually needs to run the country and whose wishes would actually do, do more for Kenyans in the long term.